ネックスライスネックマッサージネックスライスネックマッサージおお、ありがとうございます Thank you Well, it, well, it worked, mate, because uh, everyone, as soon, as soon as we reviewed the song, everyone was like, oh my God, what a song. Everyone, it seems everyone loved it. So I also feel like it's the right, uh, it's the right kind of like energy like after a little bit of a break. Yeah. Because um, it, it, it just dance, creates, you know? yeah, it creates that whole party idea from the beginning. I loved it. Oh, oh. thank you. <laughs> Let's perhaps take it back. Uh, all the way back to the beginning, I even to pre-debut days. Um, one of the things we like to ask is, tell us about your own beginning story in the arts, in music, in dance, and how did you end up choosing the path to becoming a K-pop idol? 저는 저 먼저 얘기해도 될까요? 저는 사실 어렸을 때그 아역을 했었어요. 뭐 이렇게 CF도 찍고 모델 활동도 하다가 어 우연치 않게 이제 가수 회사에서 캐스팅 제안을 받아서 들어가게 됐는데 어 이게 환경이 무섭다고 어 주변에 이제 막 다들 춤을 열심히 추고 노래를 열심히 하는 걸 보고 저도 거기에 맞게 이런 가수라는 꿈을 가지게 되고 아이돌이라는 꿈을 좀 이루게 했던 것 같습니다. How old were you when you were uh, when you started to sing? 제가 13살 때 처음 시작을 했습니다. 어, 어 음생 생활을 한년 정도를 했는데 한 회사에서만 7년 정도 있었고 근데 그만큼 좀 오래 버틴 만큼 지금의 제가 있는 게 아닌가 하는 생각이 드는 것 같아요. Definitely, I think growing up in that um, artist-like environment from such a young age, becoming an adult in the training system definitely shapes a person artistry in a completely different manner. I would love to know a little bit more about how did the dance aspect of things comes into play. I know that is really integrated into the idol training, but how did it come to you? Yeah, it makes a lot well, of sense. Practice definitely, definitely leads to maturation and the uh, uh, comfort. Uh, if anyone would like to share their beginning story, I'm more, more than happy to. And I'm sure your fans would also be so intrigued in in, in hearing sort of the beginning stories. I'm Jiwoo. 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 I'm 하는 모습을 보고 정말 반항이 돼서 나도 저렇게 되고 싶다라는 생각이 들어서 음악의 길로 밟게 되었습니다. Oh, right. You're so tall, dude. Such a big human. 186cm입니다. Hey, you're pretty tall. Yeah. So, yeah. Did you start really early into the trainee program? Did you come into as a teenager to into the trainee program, or did you come in a little bit later in life? 저는 중학교 2학년 때요. 열네 살이 인가? 열열 다섯 살 때요. That's cool. What did your parents think of that decision, though? It's yeah, kind of they're... young to go into, uh, to move away from home and start dancing as a living. <laughs> 일단 저희 어머님은 전직의 댄서였습니다. 댄서. 그래서 굉장히 응원하셨고 아버지도 많이 응원을 하셨던 것 같습니다. <laughs> nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's so good. I'm happy for you. Cause look at you now. Great. Yeah, they're, they're great, man. That's it. <laughs> oh, thank you. This is your song, right? <laughs> you got me, that's great. <laughs> 
All right, lads. Anyone else, please? <웃음> 뭐 저는 그 원래 필리핀을 좀 오래 살았어요 유학으로 살다가 갑자기 이제 한국에 방학 때 놀러 오게 됐는데 그때가 열일곱 살 때였습니다. 근데 그때 이제 길거리에서 캐스팅을 당했어요. 그래서 그때 이 어린 마음에 와 나도 이거 해보고 싶다 하고 이제 유학 생활을 다 이제 정리를 하고 바로 연습생 하고 막뭐 노래도 배우고 연기도 배우고 그때부터 시작했던 것 같습니다. We actually um, check out a lot and review a lot of music from the Filipino music industry. Do, do you still listen to some some artists from the Philippines? 어 사실 옛날에 필리핀 살았을 때는 그 자연스럽게 그쪽 그런 음악을 접할 수 있었는데 어 이제 여기 K-pop을 하기 시작한 후로부터는 약간 여기에 몰두를 하는 것 같습니다. If I could suggest a few artists from the Philippines, I think I would. Uh, right now, I just discovered this band called Lola Amour, and they are incredible. Like, if if you want to listen to their new songs, then also there is another band called Cup of Joe. Absolutely phenomenal. If you have time, listen to them. They're great. <laughs> yeah, I, I think you might like them because uh, uh, they they they're very musically sort of intricate mm -hmm. and very experimental in their stuff. I do also... believe that you guys would really like their yeah. style of music too. Oh, yeah. thank you. Lola Amour. Lola Amour. Yeah, oh. yeah, that's right. <laughs> yes. What, what, what are you guys uh, listening to, uh, so especially when it comes to in, in a year where you're sort of promoting and you are making an album? Are you very sort of a uh, critical of the things you're listening to, so you don't expose yourself to many things, or are you just sort of like absorbing everything like a sponge? What are you kind of listening to when you're about to create an album? 보통은 잘 안되는 것 같아요 개인적으로는 어 이게 좀 많이 듣다 보면은 어, 제가 만들면서도 어, 어디서 많이 들어본 멜로디인데 라는 생각이 들 때가 있거든요 네, 그런 점을 좀, 어, 좀 예, 채워나가기 위해서 좀 보통 음악 작업을 할 때는 그냥 집중을 해서 네, 하는 것 같습니다 다른 음악을 안 듣고 하는 것 같습니다 that's why I asked because we, we, we write music ourselves. We were, uh, uh, I'm a drummer since I was very young. And then when you compose beats or you, or you think of music, I find myself sort of like that. I have to be very sort of careful on what I'm listening to or just not listen to anything so inspiration yeah. can sort of come through, you know? I want to go back to learning a little bit more about the backstory of some of you guys as well because I feel like we didn't get to measure everybody's backstory. So if you want to, anybody else would like to tell us about what inspired them in the beginning to enter the trainee programs. So please feel free. <laughs> 네, 일단 저 같은 경우에는 그냥 어릴 때부터 뭐다 음악을 좋아하다 보니까 그리고 또 음악에 대한 관심도 많았고 음. 그래서 계속 노래 부르는 걸 공부를 해, 했던 것 같아요. 뭐 선생님한테도 정말 직접 배우기도 하고 네, 근데 그렇게 계속 공부를 하다 보니 또 이렇게 좋은 기회가 생겨서 네, 구입이로 하게 된것 같아요. 음, 음. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. I, I I was gonna say I just listened again to Subconscious today and before I sat here to talk to you guys. And there is such a beautiful vocal um intricacy to every one of you guys in, in the in the range of like the ballads. You guys have a lot of vocal technique and it's really hard to uh not pay attention to that academia background. So I was really interested into knowing a little bit more of like why why take the time to do such like um fine singing into some some of pop, you know, recommended pop music not necessarily needs to be very good vocally speaking, but you guys have the perfect balance between vocal intricacy and also maintaining the pop idea of music too. So, you know, great. <laughs> are you are you big on sort of vocal exercises or warm-ups? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 개인적으로 저는 목 마사지를 굉장히 많이 하는 편입니다. 음. 뭐 이렇게 주물딱 주물딱 <웃음> 이거를 굉장히 많이 하면은 근데 이게 정말 중요해요. 예, 예. 음. 중요해요. 하면은 소리를 낼때 굉장히 유쾌하게 음. 잘 넘어가는 그런 느낌 들기 때문에 넥 슬라이스 넥 마사지 넥 슬라이스 목 마사지 슬라이스 이스 넥 슬라이스 Okay. I, I'm definitely gonna put that into the test next time I go singing. I had never thought of that before, but it must do wonders because you guys always sound great. So yeah. 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 Good choice. Also, yeah, yeah. you lads look uh, in very good shape. What is the um? How does it look like the workout program or what? What's the daily lifestyle? 
look like? Maybe is it the dancing or are you gymming? 사실 뭐 이게 자동적으로 뭐 안무를 한다고 생긴 그런 건 아니고요. 저희가 다들 어 운동을 열심히 하는 것 같아요. 음, 헬스장을 많이 가죠. 네. 네. 멋쟁이 분들이 질문을 주셨는데 루틴이 있냐고. 루틴은 저는 빈속에 공복에 유산소를 좀 많이 합니다. 음... Okay. Interesting. Why that choice though? Is there a specific reason why you do it on an empty stomach? Does it give you more stamina? I know there's some science behind it, but I would love to hear your reason behind that. 제가 원래 살을 좀 많이 뺐었는데 이제 공복 유산소가 지방을 잘 태운다고 하더라고요. 그래서 그때 언제였더라? 2018년도에 한번 도전을 해봤는데 굉장한 효과를 봐서 공복에 유산소를 해서 지방을 태우는 걸 정말 제 몸으로 느껴져서 열심히 하고 있습니다. 제 새로운 느낌입니다. Well, I think it's it's very smart overall for. All of you lads to uh, do maintain that sort of typical physical shape and mm -hmm. gym for longevity because touring life is very exhausting as you all know and um, studio and tr and uh, dancing all the time and singing all the time. The so overall schedule is very tough. It, though. it, it makes a big it. difference and not not to shower you with compliments, but it does make a difference. You know. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> <laughs> but I, you know, talking about the tour situation and uh, you guys have been in the industry for a really long time and you have toured a couple of times actually. Um, I would love to hear. Uh, what was the first like environment for you? What was it like when you first toured for the first time? Oh, good question. Because it's always different for everybody. But I would love to hear what you guys experienced. 일단 저희가 제일 처음 투어를 간 곳은 브라질이었는데요. 어 사실 저희도 가서 정말 깜짝 놀랐던 곳이 그렇죠 맞아요. 왜냐면 저희도 생각지 못한 그렇게 많은 팬분들이 와주실 줄 몰랐는데 어 정말 생각밖에 엄청난 팬분들이 저희를 응원해주러 와주셔가지고 네 그. 그때 그 열정을 잊을 수 없기 때문에 저희가 또 계속 그 투어를 하고 싶다라는 그런 생각도 계속 가지고 있는 것 같아요. Yeah, bro, Brazil is crazy. Did you have a chance to uh, see the sights and maybe walk around a little? 네, 사실 브라질 때첫 투어를 가가지고 정말 많은 곳을 둘러봤었는데 가장 기억에 남는 거는 그 리우 데자네이루에 있는 예수상이 기억에 진짜 많이 남아요. 네, 그렇게 큰 예수상은 또 살면서 처음 봤는데 그때 기억이 너무 좋았습니다. 저희가 물론 공연을 위해서 투어를 위해서 이제 브라질에 간건 맞지만은 또 이제 그 짧은 시간을 이용을 해서 이렇게 잠깐 이렇게 여행을 할수 있다는 것 자체가 되게 행복했었던 일인 것 같습니다. Next, next time, yeah, we'll invite you to Brazil. We'll go dancing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 저희가, 저희가 춤 알려드릴게요. Also, also, I think the idea of bringing your first tour into Latin America must have been quite a crazy jump in not only in terms of culture and like how the fans greeted you, but also in terms of like how big the the success of VAB had been. So please tell me more about what that personally felt for you guys. 사실 뭐 방금 딱 말씀드린 대로 같아요. 사실 저는 이 지구 반대편에 정말 그 비행기 타면서 느꼈거든요. 와 여긴 정말 멀구나. 그래서 첫 번째 투어인 만큼 그때는 어 이분들이 과연 우리를 아실까? 어떻게 우리 노래 다 아시고 오시는 걸까? 라는 고민을 살짝 했는데 어 정말 깜짝 놀랐어요. 그러니까 그때 약간 저는 좀 다른 얘기지만 와 인터넷의 위대함은 역시 짱이다. 라고 생각을 했을 만큼 많은 분들이 저희를 알아주시고 사랑한다고 해주신 게 아직까지도 좀 I remember you. Um, we watched years ago. We watched <laughs> like, this yeah. video of you guys doing like a Spanish challenge. You go with the laguero. With the laguero. <laughs> oh my wow. god, we love that video. Yeah, when it's I so see funny. it, it was one of like my favorite cultural interchanges yeah, that so I have awesome. ever seen on camera. It, I still laugh at that, that video. That was a hello eighty two. Hello Shout out to yeah. hello eighty two, good friends. Tell us a bit about that experience. Yeah, what was that experience so, like? What was that like? Oh, uh, 일단은 어 uh, <laughs> 너무 감사했죠. 너무 감사했고 이게 저희가 음악으로 듣고 이제 영상으로만 봤던 분이 이제 저희랑 같이 음악을 한다고 하니까 되게 설렜었고 일단은 생각보다 만났을 때 너무 친근하셨어요. 너무 음. 상냥하셨고 또 저희가 뭐 어떤 의견을 제시를 하면은 다 뭔가 수긍을 해두시는 뭔가 그런 모습이 있었어서 되게 좋았던 기억인 것 같습니다. 그리고 또 기회가 된다면은 또한번더 콜라보를 진행하면 어떨까 하는 네, 저의 그런 개인적인 생각입니다.
Yeah, you can do another collab and then uh, VAV J Balvin, baby. <laughs> yeah. So he here's something that we were sort of discussing a couple of weeks ago when we reviewed your your subconscious EP. When you um when you're writing lyrics, I I always wonder the process of even getting to the stage where you can go to pen and paper. That's right. Um, and I'm pretty sure many people watching will probably have dreams to become writers themselves or even musicians. What's your approach? to lyricism and yeah. writing lyrics the in initial um spark of an idea right. where, where does it come from how do you find it yeah 사실 저는 이 작사를 하는 걸 되게 좀 되게 중요하게 생각을 하는 편이에요 그래서 그냥 멋있는 가사를 말하는 게 아니라 내가 정말 어떤 말을 하고 싶은지랑 그리고 과연 듣는 사람이 이걸 들었을 때좀 뜻풀이 같은 그런 재밌는 것도 약간 숨겨 놓는 편이고 그리고 또 우리 멤버들이 부를 노래라면 좀 부르기 쉬운 이런 발음이라던가 아니면은 좀더 했을 때 멋있는 느낌이 나는 가사를 쓰려고 하는 편이에요. 그래서 시간이 좀더 오래 걸리고 수정을 정말 많이 했습니다. 이번 디자이너도. 그래서 어 근데 영감이란 거는 갑자기 딱 떠오른다기보다는 계속 계속 하는 느낌인 것 같아요. 저희 멤버들 형들도 이거 처음 말한 사실인데 사실 저도 집에서 혼자 있을 때 가사를 한번 써보긴 해요. 오 진짜? 오. 우리 디자이너 쓸 때는 이제 우리 로우 형이 작사로 된걸 디자이너로 채택이 됐지만은 사실 저도 마음속에는 저도 작사가의 꿈을 가지고 있는 분 합니다. 네, 멤버 처음 말하는 거예요. 아. 그럼 보고 계신 멋쟁이 분들을 기대해 주십시오. Oh, absolutely. Oh, definitely. I think there's such an advantage to having so much control in the lyricism and what you can uh, write down in into the songs and, and bring forward to and the And also people. willingness to uh, yeah. write and uh, expose, because I feel like people who write lyrics and uh, writers themselves are exposing a part of themselves to the public, Correct. a private yes. part of themselves. It's like a... A vulnerable, treasured inner part of themselves. So, awesome. Yeah, man, I look forward to it. I can't wait to hear your lyrics in the next album. Okay, we we love you. Yeah. <laughs> we love you too. We love you right back. I think there there is such a cool idea in the whole perspective of subconscious as a concept, right? So you're talking about things that are right at the back of your mind, things that you don't usually talk about. And I love that in this EP, you have a really good uh, combination of those concepts. So like uh, in Cold You Mind, you have a really cool core progression that I think it really encapsulates the idea of, of longing, of wanting something that is and yours yet. Um, can you talk talk to me a little bit more about the writing process for Call You Mine? That's oh. my favorite song, by the way. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> 네, Call You Mine is 제가 만든 곡인데 사실 이 노래를 만든 지가 굉장히 오래됐어요. 한한 한 3년 정도 된것 같은데. 이제 어떻게 시작을 했냐면은 저는 저희 VAB의 어 모습을 잘 보여줄 수 있는 곡을 만들고 싶다는 생각으로 처음에 이제 시작을 했고요. 그러면은 VAB 하면은 뭐 피지컬이나 좀 섹시함이나 그런 쿨한 모습들이 있다고 생각을 했어요. 그래서 그런 모습들이 가장 잘 드러나는 노래를 만들고 싶었고 그래서 좀 콜류마인이라는 노래가 나왔는데 노래를 들어보시면은 좀 되게 쿨하고 섹시한 이미지가 있어요. 노래 자체가. 그래서 뭐몇 번의 수정을 거쳤지만 지금의 저희의 모습을 잘 담을 수 있어서 저는 개인적으로 만족하는 그런 곡입니다. I think it does too. I think maybe that's the reason why I'm so naturally uh, attracted to the song as well. Because in the also in the progression of the EP, I feel like that song comes in at such a great place. And you're singing the chorus non-stop. It's such a brilliant composition. Well done. Honestly, one of my favorite tracks in the album. <laughs> No, no, th no, thank, thank you. you guys. By the way, we actually didn't do that much research. We've just been listening to your music for a while, qu quite, a, yes, quite a long time. A and uh, I think, you know, you guys know this yourself. When you're involved in music for a while, you can sort of notice uh, things in the production or lyricism. The and The congruency of a certain product, you can really tell when the artist is really invested in the music. And I think you guys obviously can tell too, because uh, given the fact that you're so involved artist artistically wise so in the making of this uh, this album. Don't give us any credit. No, the credit is all yours. So, yeah. but, but thank you for the, for the lovely words. You know what I've always wondered? How do you choose the order of the EP? Like what, which songs? Is it down to you guys to choose? How, how does that work? Do you get to pick your title track? As well? Yeah, I'm very intrigued. 네, 일단 저희가 당연히 뭐 타이틀곡 선 
선택하는데 저희가 사실 이번에는 거의 저희가 선택했다고 라고 해도 될 정도로 사실 타이틀곡을 저희가 수집해온 곡만 한 사실 50곡 50도 있었는데 네, 그 중에서 디자이너가 가장 마음에 들었어가지고 디자이너로 하게 된거 같고요 그리고 곡 순서를 말씀드리면 은 아무래도 이게 곡의 리듬 뭐 빠름 이런 걸좀 생각을 했을 때 저희도 저희 생각에 이렇게 앨범을 저희 앨범을 쭉 들었을 때 뭔가 흐름이 깨지지 않을 정도의 그런 점을 좀 많이 고려를 해서 네, 이게 앨범의 순서도 정리를 하게 됩니다. But I, I think we live in an era right now where streamability is number one. So how streamable and how fluent the listening experience is. So it's awesome to hear kind of the, what do you call it, behind the behind the scenes of what it goes into the structure of an album. And then you can really tell as well, again, like I said before, the congruency between the artist and the product is such an important link. And I think when, when there is so much thought behind a, a specific project, the congruency of also the listening experience, the streamability of the album itself, becomes a it really helps. It helps yeah it becomes a really uh, awesome experience to listen to one last one guys an, an easy one quite like to to finish off what what are your hobbies when you're sort of yes. not promoting or even while you're promoting what what do you do to sort of chill out gym <laughs> gym, gym. <laughs> Just gym. 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 전 드라이브 어, 좋아하고 거. 또 누워 있는 것도 좋아하고 음. 네, 핸드폰 보고 <웃음> 그러니까 핸드폰 보고 누워 있는 거랑 아니면 드라이브 가는 거 좋아해요. Oh, nice. Very cool, very cool. Oh, thank you so much, you guys, for coming on. Absolute, absolute pleasure to have you on. I've been meaning to pick at your brains for so long, so I feel incredibly grateful that you have taken the time to come into Feature Party Plus today. So thank you very much. If there's anything else that you like to say to your fans to close up, please feel free. 네, 저희가 이제 어, 디자이너 앨범이 나오고 나서 어, 라틴 투어를 또 가게 됐는데요. 네, 거기서 만나뵙게 될 이제 팬분들 한마디 더 기다려주시고 저희가 새로운 모델로 준비하고 있으니까요. 기대 많이 해주시면 감사하겠습니다. 그리고 또 그러니까 오랜 오랜만에 낸 앨범인데 걱정을 그만큼 많이 했었거든요 근데 앨범이 나오자마자 너무 뜨거운 반응 주셔서 감사하고 저희 뮤직비디오나 뭐 음원 스트리밍이나 잘 부탁 감사합니다 Love you 감사합니다 Thank you so much, guys. Well, and uh, I, ho I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. I know sometimes interviews and can get quite long, so I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. And uh, thank you so much. You look sexy, my designer. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, yeah, baby. <laughs> thank you very much.